From inside the attic, locate the desired position for the flashing and dome opening. Generally, directly above the ceiling opening is optimal, but this position can vary depending on your particular attic conditions. Start by measuring the distance between the rafters and mark the center location. There should be a minimum distance between them to allow for a 15 inch hole to be cut. Drive the 3 inch deck screw through so that it shows on the outside of the roof surface. Use the marking chalk with a loop string that measures 7.5 inches in length. Then draw the circle around the exposed screw as shown. The completed circle should be 15 inches across. Now with the 1 inch drill bit, drill a pilot hole on the inside edge of the circle. Then insert the reciprocating saw to cut out the material. As you reach the end of the cut, hold on to the center screw to secure the disc from falling into the attic space. Before proceeding, take a moment to sweep the area clean of any debris left by the saw. Next, you will drop the flex tube into the opening and align the bottom of the flashing with the shingles. Use the chalk to make outer marks on the corners to indicate the overall footprint of the flashing. Once marked, you can remove the flashing and tube to begin the shingle removal. The requirement is to remove enough of the top half to two-thirds of the surrounding shingles to allow the flashing to sit on top of the roof decking when installed. Try to keep all of the shingles intact. As you remove them, you will want to replace them later. Apply a bead of waterproof sealant or roofing adhesive to the bottom of the flashing. Then drop the flex tube into the opening and reposition the flashing under the topmost shingle as shown. You can use roofing nails or the standard mounting screws provided to secure the flashing. In this example, we have used roofing nails where the shingles will be reinstalled and the mounting screws across the bottom for a better appearance. When replacing the shingles, you will want to trim them to length so they fit about a half inch from the edge of the square part of the dome assembly. Use roofing nails to reattach them to the roof, but do not pierce the flashing itself. Use a framing square or straight edge to square off the cuts. You will want to start at the bottom row and realign them with the outer shingles in the same pattern. In most instances, the top row of shingles will need to be squared out to fit around the dome assembly as shown. The skylight tube requires no maintenance, but you may want to rinse off the dome annually to keep it free of any dirt or debris.